Allah Jalla Mullah says, Brother, I'm going to be the one who is 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 the one from this verse, we take that the Qur'an is a book of Sa'adah. The Qur'an is a book that brings happiness, that brings joy to whoever reads it, whoever reflects upon it, and whoever acts upon it. So the fact that, alhamdulillah, the brothers, they organized this Qur'an competition where the parents and the children can gather together was it in their homes where they did the, the competition? Yeah, online. Where they did it online and they gathered and they, the children and the parents together, I'm sure, have revised the Qur'an together, recited the Qur'an together. Then this is a beautiful deed because this is a deed that brings happiness and brings joy and brings blessings to the family and to the homes in which we live in. As you know, there's many a hadith that mention, you know, that shaitan yanfir, shaitan he flees from the house in which Surah Al-Baqarah is read. And this is the blessing of the Qur'an. And the Qur'an has so many blessings. So many blessings. And the greatest of blessings that we can take from the Qur'an, it's not what people think, where it's just reciting it or memorizing it. Yes, reciting the Qur'an is very important. Memorizing the Qur'an is very important. But there's even greater rewards in understanding the Qur'an and acting upon it. That is why the Qur'an was revealed. Not just to recite it, not just to memorize it, but to understand it and to act upon it. Many Sahaba they didn't memorize lots of Quran, but they understood the Quran. They understood the message of the Quran, and they acted. They acted upon it. Allah Jalla wa says, "Kitabun anzalnahu ilayhi mubarak," a book that is blessed and they revealed to you, liyadabbu ayati, so that you may reflect and ponder upon its verses. And you cannot reflect on something if you do not understand the meaning of what you are reading. So what I want to say is I want to encourage the parents and also the children that when we memorize the Qur'an, to take some time also to look into the meanings of the Qur'an. That we ponder and we reflect upon the meanings of the Qur'an. Because this has huge rewards and this is going to bring us closer to Allah and give us understanding of the religion. You know, many people they memorize and when they don't understand nothing, they don't really understand why they're doing this or why they're doing that. But when you memorize the Quran and you understand the meaning, it gives sense to why you're doing this and why you're doing that and why you should do this and why you should do that. So I encourage every single parent, if you can just once a week, 10 minutes, open the Quran, for those who speak Arabic, take a tafsir muyassar or aqsar al muhtasarat and aqsar al muhtasar fi tafsir. You know, basic books of tafsir. Read a little chapter and then sit down with your child and explain to him that chapter so that he understands the Quran. He understands the kalam of Allah. Because, like Allah said, ayati. The Quran was revealed so for us to ponder and reflect upon it to ponder and reflect upon it. And that is the meaning of the hadith, the hadith that you all know, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَا That the best of you is the one who, the best of you, the best of you, is the one who learns the Qur'an and taught the Qur'an. So when we say learn the Qur'an, it's not just the rules of rules of tajweed and hif, it's also learn the Qur'an and learn the meanings of the Qur'an, that you understand the Qur'an, and they can teach these meanings to, to others. Because in the Qur'an, there's guidance for all mankind. But how can this Qur'an be guidance if we do not understand it? So this is something beautiful, brothers and sisters, that we memorize the Qur'an with our children, that we make them read the Qur'an, but also give time that they understand the Qur'an, that they taste the sweetness of the Qur'an. As you know, I'm a believer, you know, I, I embrace Islam, 20 years ago, when I started reading and learning Arabic and started reading the Quran in Arabic and reading the tafsir in Arabic, a whole new dimension was open to me. Yeah, and when I was reading in English, I was understanding things left and right. It wasn't the correct understanding. It was English and I understood English, but 
it's just a surface, you know, it's just a surface type of it's just a surface type of understanding, you know. It's very basic understanding. Alhamdulillah, it's enough to know what to do, what to not do, what to believe in, but it does not go in depth, you know, it does not go in depth. So you read and, and, and give these meanings to your children, you know, make them love the Quran. Not that it just becomes an obligation where they have to recite, they have to memorize, and they understand nothing. All I want them to understand what they're reading, it's going to have a huge impact on them, on their hearts, on their, on their minds, on their bodies, on everything. You know, like you know, Allah Jalla says, when you know the Quran, shifa'u, shifa'u wa rahmatun li mu'minin. And we have descended the Quran, and in this Quran there's a shifa, there's a cure. And this cure is not just. Spiritual, it's also physical, you know, but it has impact on the people. And this cure to be, this cure to have full impact, it has to, you have to understand the Quran, you have to reflect upon it. And you have to, you have to act upon it. That is how the Quran is a cure in, in our lives. So this was just a little reminder, you know, may Allah just tell you you all for your efforts with your children. You know, may Allah protect and preserve and guide all of our children, especially in these these crazy times that we are living in. Uh, the brother, he said today is Father's Day, you know? So he wants to meet. Brother, every day is Father's Day. For a Muslim, there's not one day. Every day is Father's Day, and every day is Mother's Day. You need children, know this. Every single day that you live, until you die, every day is Father's Day, and every day is Mother's Day. Every day you have to obey and listen to your parents. And the Prophet ﷺ said on the hadith, read Allah if you read al that indeed Allah, Allah's pleasure, that Allah is satisfied with you, He will only be satisfied with you if your parents are satisfied with you. So if your parents are not happy with you, know that Allah Jalla Wala is not happy for you. So, you know, the non-Muslims, you know, they have one day in the year, we as Muslims, we respond to them, Alhamdulillah, every single day in the year is Father's Day and Mother's Day. Because Allah Jalla Wala, in the Quran, after ordering us to worship Him alone, and to not get any partners to him in worship, he ordered us to be good towards our parents. And this is, shows the huge importance of, of, of being good and pious and righteous towards our parents in, in Islam. And inshallah, I'll let the brother proceed with the, the, the competition, giving the rewards, inshallah.